is Lucky with Lucky Seven Zero. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. This is your September 2021 general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and these messages could resonate for you anywhere where you have Aries in your natal chart. If they don't resonate, please check your chart and your Moon and Rising sign videos or check back as we actually get into September. Also, feel free to check out any of the other amazing YouTube readers that we have online. All right, you can get a personal reading with me on my website, lucky 7 And if this reading does resonate for you, the link to the extended version of this reading will be in the description box below where I will reveal these two messages that I'm pulling right now and go into more detail for this reading. All right, if you want to enter to win the free mini cardology report that I offer two of my subscribers at the end of the month, you can do that by being subscribed to my channel, liking this video, and commenting team Aries in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and get into this guys and see what is going on for my Aries subscribers out there for September 2021. Remember that any of these messages can resonate for you in the reverse as well. All right. So you've got the strength card, the three of pentacles in the reverse, the ace of swords in the reverse, The Four of Cups. Let's go ahead and put these up here. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Three of Wands. And your challenge is, let's see, it's challenging Aries. The Hanged Man, okay? The Hanged Man as your challenge with the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you are holding yourself back from your own happiness, all right? A lot of you feel stuck, okay? Um, you may be doing a lot of thinking about what it is that you have long, may have long-term success with, all right? Um, what makes you feel stable, okay? We'll see, because I'll clarify these messages in just a moment. Let's see what you don't see coming. What is it that Aries doesn't see coming? The Two of Wands in the reverse. So a lot of you, what you don't see coming has a lot to do with letting go of something that you've been holding on to that's been holding you back. For a lot of you, this is letting go of something that's just not growing or working for you, not coming together. For some of you, it's letting go of animosity, frustration, fighting, Okay, um, I feel like there's something here that you've had a lack of success with that maybe you've been stuck in. You haven't been able to move on from it, um, but you could be in a place where maybe you're not talking to someone or you're just not being honest with yourself about it. Okay, there could be a lot of instability going on. We're going to see. Now, the strength card... Um, here with the Four of Cups, I definitely feel like there's a lot of ego that I'm seeing in this reading so far. There's a lot of ego going on here where someone is not seeing the truth of something here. They're projecting a lot of pride, all right, which could be getting in the way of something long-term or where there's longevity, okay? The Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse I feel like there's something not coming together for you. Something that you're having to release or let go of that maybe you gave a lot to. You put a lot of effort into it. And you're not seeing the return on your investment that you might have wanted to see in the past. Okay? Um, some of you guys, there's something that you've been waiting for. You've been waiting um, to communicate with someone or you've been waiting to be honest with someone. Um Maybe you've been waiting for some sort of honesty here, okay? I feel like I would love to know what this is. So we're going to clarify, all right? Clarify these messages, please, for the sign of Aries. Why is the strength card here for Aries in the month of September? Leo energy. The tower. Scorpio energy. All right. And the Eight of Wands in reverse. For some of you, there is a significant change. Something unexpected happens out of nowhere. Okay? And this might be something that, for some of you, causes you to kind of feel stuck. 
you know, you do have to utilize your inner strength, okay? I see you coming together with someone. For some of you, it is a Sagittarius that may not be vibrating at their highest level of vibration. Um, we're going to see. Give me one more for the strength card in the tower for Aries. The Ace of Cups, okay. And the Four of Swords. Some of you, there is an unexpected situation that revolves around you needing to be strong for someone. Um, I feel like there is some healing here that has to happen. And this is, I feel like there's some choices that need to be made. Somebody here might be being honest with someone or being uh, very clear about what direction they want to go in. Okay, needing to make the right decision for themselves. Why is the three of pentacles reversed? And you got the page of cups reversed. Some of you, you're letting go of someone in your life where maybe this person was holding back emotionally or you've fallen out of love with this person. Okay, maybe this person fell out of love with you. I don't know. But there is definitely this energy of having competitive, uh, somebody feeling like they're in competition for the other person's affection, whether this is you or the person that you're thinking of, okay? And that's the reason why something isn't coming together because someone has to make a choice here about what they really want. Why is this Ace of Swords here reversed? And you got the Seven of Wands, okay? And the Seven of Swords. Somebody, it, it's like somebody's trying to get away with something, maybe even being sneaky here. Um, they're pressing forward, but they're not being honest about what's going on behind the scenes, okay? I feel like there is something that you're not necessarily celebrating. It's like something isn't coming together. Hmm. We'll know more in just a second. Why is this Four of Cups here for Aries, the Queen of Wands? So, Aries... This could be you. Maybe you're dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius energy. I feel like you're not holding yourself back anymore. You're not feeling stuck. You're not allowing yourself to feel that way because some of you are feeling unappreciated. There's something that is not stable, okay? It may have felt that way in the past. Um... But I feel like it's not feeling that way now. Some of you guys are walking away from someone in your life. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, and making some choices to move forward, move on from this. Let's see why the Seven of Pentacles is reversed. The Six of Cups. A lot of you are giving up on the past. Letting go of, of a past person, a past situation, again, could be an earth sign. Or you're letting go of somebody in your life that there was a lack of stability there. You're definitely walking away and deciding that you want to work on something new. But I feel like there is this energy of you kind of taking your power back. But in the meantime, there's also this feeling of like not knowing if you're making the right choice. All right. And not wanting to make the wrong one. Why is the three of wands here? The lovers. Okay. So for some of you, you may be waiting on the perfect lover, the person you think is the perfect lover. For some, for others, this could be a situation where you're waiting on a decision to be made. Look at that. For some of you, there's two people waiting. Okay. You're waiting on them. They're waiting on you. All right. But it's like you're waiting for things to sort of manifest and make sense to you. Let's clarify the hanged man is your challenge. Why is the hanged man challenging Aries in the month of September? The Eight of Cups. So a lot of you guys are holding yourself back from being able to walk away from something that maybe you saw as long term before. Okay. Um, and you're having trouble. I feel like. Having trouble sort of making this decision. The challenge is to let something go and no longer allow it to keep you stuck. Let's see. Give me one more. For the hanged man. The seven of cups. A lot of you, there is some sort of confusion here 
where someone has other options. They don't really know what they want. They don't know where to place their affection. Um, there is an opportunity for a new beginning, but they got to decide what new beginning they want to have with this situation. Some of you, you want to heal something, heal from some sort of loss, okay? Heal from a loss of stability. Let's see. Tell me about this Two of Wands in reverse as what Aries doesn't see coming for September. The Chariot. Okay. I love this energy for you, Aries. Some of you, this has to do with a Cancer person. Um, for others, there is this situation that I think you have to make a choice on. You can't be one foot in and one foot out. And I feel like you're finally making the choice to let go of something in order to have success with moving forward here. All right. There's something that you know, you know, you, you got to make this decision. You've got to be all in. And I feel like you guys are moving forward to have more success in your present moment. Some of you, this could even be a physical move or a change. Okay. And you've got the four of cups as well. Um, you're letting go of something maybe because you feel unappreciated. All right. You feel undervalued. You may feel like you're not getting your just due. Okay. Um, and you don't see success there, so you're releasing this. And I don't feel like you're going to be stressed out about it anymore, you know? This is something that I I feel like you're finally able to move forward from, okay? Clarify this Seven of Cups as the challenge uh, for Aries. The Eight of Coins, wow, and it was at the bottom of the deck when the Eight of Cups came out. So... Again, this is you trying to figure out and being challenged to stop holding yourself back from something that you know you need to give to, all right? You've got to make a decision and be clear about what you want. Get out of a state of confusion, okay, about where your heart belongs, Aries. For some of you, um, you may be communicating with someone that maybe you were not talking to, or there's a need to have a conversation here. For others, this is a need to trust your intuition because maybe you have not been doing that, okay? Yeah, I feel like you have the power to manifest the outcome you want, but there is an energy here of either a third-party situation or someone being hurt in this situation, and I think that that's painful for you because it's like I don't feel like you want anyone to be hurt here. Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed with the Page of Cups in reverse? The Four of Wands. So some of you absolutely are letting go of a relationship where maybe you felt a lack of love, a lack of um, emotion. Okay? Maybe somebody did this to you or is doing this to you, but you're letting this go. You know, you're walking away from it. Tell me about this Ace of Cups, the Tower, and the Strength card for Aries. The King of Coins. Um, fire sign and Earth. I'm sorry, Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Some of you, this could be a new love. Someone that's willing and able to offer you something stable. Could be a Scorpio. Could be an Leo, you also have Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy, and Virgo energy at the bottom of the deck. I see you guys coming together with someone. For, for others, this could be an unexpected um, opportunity. And I did see the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy, but it was in the reverse, which tells me that a lot of you guys are going through breakups at this point in your life. But you could be opening yourself up to new love opportunities, um, unexpected ones. For some, for others, this is an unexpected financial opportunity that's going to bring in some level of abundance for you, all right? Um, why is the Four of Cups here with the Queen of Wands? The Page of Swords. So there's some truth being revealed or an honest conversation happening here, okay? And I feel like this sort of brings something together for you, all right? This brings something together for you. And I feel like it gets you out of a state of worry, ang anxiety, fear, stress. Why is the Six of Cups here clarifying the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse for Aries? The Eight of Wands in reverse. 
So a lot of you are giving up on someone in your life, could even be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or somebody that has kind of been scorned, somebody you're not talking to, somebody from the past, um, you're sort of letting this go to move forward towards a new beginning. The Lovers and the Three of Wands, the Seven of Swords. Somebody is trying to be sneaky. They have another option here. And I feel like... Hmm, somebody could have made a decision to get away from something because they, they thought that there was something better. Like the grass was greener on the other side. And now uh, this may have resulted in a very difficult ending. But now there might be some healing to this because of some form of communication or truth that is revealed. Okay, the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Ace of Swords reverse, Seven of Wands. Why is this here for Aries? And there's that higher font showing up again in the reverse. Okay, so I definitely see um, this energy of some sort of breakup and being able to move on from something. All right being able to move on and move forward, no longer allowing something to hold you back because you don't see it coming together. But some of you guys have still not let that go. And I feel like there's this energy of needing to do that in order to be able to move on. All right. So a lot of you guys may be going back this month to clear up some things in your life that have not necessarily um, been totally X'd out. So that you can move forward and be happy and find yourself. All right. Let's see what other messages Spirit has for you. Tell me what Aries needs to know. Okay. Aries, you could be healing from any health issues, mental health, emotional health, physical health issues. All right. Some of you, this is based on some sort of decision that you've made. Some of you, somebody's true colors are showing here. The truth of somebody is that they don't really care is showing, all right? You have main male, and at the bottom, privileged lady. Some, some of you, you could be taking care of someone or somebody is kind of taking care of you, okay? Look at this. So you've got the lovers in the reverse uh, with imprisonment in the reverse. So I feel like a lot of you guys are making some decisions to get yourself unstuck from something where some, it feels like somebody doesn't care. Okay. And you have adjudication. So, and it's in the reverse with main female. Some of you main female is in the reverse. So there's something here I feel like some sort of decision in the past that has already been made, maybe it was unfair, okay? I see you kind of feeling stuck and trying to move on from that. Let's clarify these messages for Aries, please. Somebody may be healing from health problems, emotional, mental, physical health problems, and sort of kind of acting unconcerned about it, acting like they don't care. Maybe they feel like other people don't care, but there's a new door opening from this situation. Okay. You have occupation. Some of you guys have been putting an effort and energy into something where somebody may have been wearing a false mask here and now the you know their true colors are showing. For some of you, it's somebody that either you take care of or that benefits from your hard work. Okay. You also have gift. Some of you, maybe you are the uh, receiving a gift from, yeah, I feel like for some of you, you are the gift or you're receiving the gift of being taken care of, being privileged in some way um, by someone here. Why is lovers reversed? You have wealthy man in reverse. Some of you guys, um, there might be some changes within your home environment that cost you some sort of money based on your own decisions or based on someone's decisions here. 
Okay, some of you guys, you're getting yourself unstuck from a situation and deciding to move forward with someone. You could be going after this person or this person is trying to go after you. For some of you, I would be careful with this because for some of you, this is more expensive than it's worth, okay? There might even be a lack of abundance that you're feeling um, because of some energy of kind of feeling stuck. You know, feeling like something is not moving forward. For some of you, you could have somebody coming home. I know this is so random and like so specific. You could have someone coming home from being locked up, wanting to pursue a relationship with you. And you have sudden wealth in the reverse. So, and marriage, again, showing up in the reverse. Some of you guys, there could be a breakup or ending in a relationship based on someone's decisions or something having to do with a decision that was made in the past that does not sit right with you, that doesn't feel good to you. Let's see what else. What other messages here do you have for the sign of Aries for... September 2021. You have peace. I like it. Okay. You've got peace with stubborn. Some of you guys have been being stubborn, um, trying to protect your peace. All right. You have standing up in the reverse. Some of you guys are not taking care of yourself. Maybe not standing up for yourself. Okay. You're taking the path of least resistance. All right. Some of you, if you've been running from anything, I feel like you're facing that. All right? You're facing that. Because there's some energy, negative energy that has not yet been cleared away. Okay? You're learning the, a lesson. You're being taught some sort of lesson in this situation. A lesson about what brings peace into your life. For some of you, there may have been someone that you've rejected or that rejected you that could be coming back around to teach you some sort of lesson. Or to complete a lesson in your life. I feel like a lot of you guys have felt stagnant. Um, have not been able to really move forward. But now you're coming to the end of that cycle. All right. You're able to level up. What else? Yeah. You guys are moving forward. All right. You are absolutely moving forward. Some of you, this could be travel. Some of you, you have a desire to move on. Um but I see someone being stubborn. I also feel like there are some secrets revealed about someone's feelings. Okay. Tell me what piece is here for, for Aries, for September. Why is this card here? Okay. So you find peace in walking away. Walking away from something or someone in your life. Possibly someone that has embarrassed you or someone that caused you to feel embarrassed or ashamed in some way. Um... So you're trying to protect your peace. Mm, some of you guys, you've not seen the bigger picture of something. You've had tunnel vision. All right. Um, oh, it's with a new love. So some of you, you've been focused on possibly a new love and only been able to see certain aspects of this person. Some of you are not standing up to this person. Okay, some of you, your focus is on a child or a child, the birth of a child. All right. Wow, when you stop running from something, that's when you find your happiness. Okay, when you stop running and realize what you need to invest yourself into, there's some sort of something here that you have yet to let go of, and it may have to do with someone that's left their mark on you. <clears throat> Yeah, somebody here has kind of been enchanting you in some way. They're very charming. Um, and they have they kind of have had you in a trance. I feel like for some of you, there's a lesson to be learned. You're being taught a lesson with this. There's a need to kind of go within. A need to be alone. To focus on yourself. To learn the lesson that you've been meant to learn. 
some of you, you've kind of felt stuck and there is a block in your transformation, in your change. Uh, but I see you being able to move forward, you know, and finding success when you get unstuck from this situation. All right. Oh, yeah. Some of you, you might be coming together with someone that maybe you've been separated from. Okay. You're finally coming together to possibly end a cycle and bring about some form of change when it comes to this situation. Let me get one more for this. Clarify travel, please, for Aries. And yep, it is someone from the past, for sure. Somebody that maybe you're reflecting on things that have gone on, things that have happened, um, things that may have been unfair or unjust for some of you it could be a twin flame but i feel like you're awakening there is a possibility for a new beginning here um but there is a need for some sort of healing and honesty when it comes to this situation all right let's see tell me what messages you have for the sign of aries for september 2021 spirit what does aries need to know you have cleansing again showing up in the reverse so some of you have not removed some sort of negative energy from your space. Um, and I do see something sort of coming back around for you to deal with it. Okay. You have forgiveness in the reverse. Maybe there's someone that you have not offered forgiveness to or that has not offered forgiveness to you. Maybe you haven't asked for forgiveness for some. And you've got to utilize your inner strength, your courage to be able to do this. For some of you, maybe it has to do with a Leo. You have domesticity, all right? Um, and you have that with protection in reverse. Some of you, you do not feel protected within your home life. Oh, goodness. Sorry about that, guys. Some of you don't feel protected within your home life. You don't feel protected within your family, all right? Let's clarify. Wow. And if you rewind the video, that came out at the bottom of the deck when cleansing was there. It's like in order for you to have a new beginning, you've got to let go of certain things and really trust your intuition, trust your spirit guides here. All right. This is a part of your spiritual path. You have resurrection in reverse without forgiveness nothing can be resurrected. So there is something here that maybe you've not asked for forgiveness for or someone has not been forgiven, okay? Because the other person, I feel like, is focused on themselves and taking care of them. All right. And then you have rebirth in the reverse, okay? So a lot of you guys... There was some sort of, or there is some sort of instability within your home environment, right? Um, but what's happening here is some sort of significant change. This can be a move, a, a, some sort of travel of some kind, but this is absolutely going to bring about a change in your home environment or your home life, all right? Let's see, what advice do you have for Aries? Use your creativity. This is telling you to think outside the box, Aries. All right? Think outside the box. There might be some things that you're missing. You're not seeing things clearly, especially if you have tunnel vision when it comes to, you know, your situation. Okay? You've got to see the bigger picture. You need to trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust your instincts. Okay? And keep an open mind. Don't close yourself off to any ideas of what your life can be like and what the future holds, all right? Filter your friendships. There may be some people in your life that are drilling holes in the back of your boat, people that need to be removed, friends, family, certain individuals that are holding you back, okay? And look at that. Keep an open mind. So for some of you, there might be someone that uh, you've closed yourself off to that you need to keep an open mind about. For others, there are some people that you definitely need to close yourself off to that maybe you haven't closed yourself off to. You know, the access is still there, all right? 
All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. If you want to watch the extended version of this reading, uh, that link is in the description box below. Please make sure that if this resonated for you, you are subscribed to the channel. You hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and post new videos. I love you guys, and I hope you are loving on yourselves. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.